Rural North Carolina. Researchers from Duke University were working there on a long-term study of mental health problems in a sample of nearly 1,500 children, about a quarter of whom were from the Cherokee Reservation. In 1996, during the study, the Cherokee Indians in North Carolina's Great Smoky Mountains opened a casino. But this was a casino with a difference. It was different because some of the profits from this casino were distributed equally amongst families on the reservation. And this lifted many of them out of poverty. And this was an absolutely fantastic opportunity for the researchers because this new money was independent of anything the families had done for themselves. So it was literally a brand new factor. And this gave the researchers, Jane Costello and her colleagues, a unique chance to test if ending family poverty had any effect on the mental health of the children. The findings surprised even the researchers themselves. In just four years after the study began, children whose families had moved out of poverty showed a 40% reduction in conduct and oppositional disorders. But there was no significant change in conduct of Cherokee children who had not been living in poverty. And this led researchers to conclude that poverty was a factor in some child mental health problems.